Well, I'm Chris and this is my how to paint your plastic door panels video. So these are Jeep Wrangler half door panels. They're off of a 1998 and I got to make them match my 04. These are gray. Mine need to be black. So we're going to be using these. The worst thing about this is those little nozzles like to squirt. Sometimes they'll just start throwing paint out. So you got to be careful with them. Other than that, great product. We got flat and gloss. We're going to decide which one we want. I'm going to show you the process I go through to clean these and we're going to try to make these look as perfect as possible. So when you're trying to spray some old door panels like this, your biggest enemy is the ones that sat out in the sun. The ultraviolet rays literally break down the plastic and it starts to flake off. If yours are real bad, you can take your fingernail and scratch a chunk out. I'm not sure that's what happened there. The reason I'm talking about that is because if you spray them with that, it just kind of absorbs into it and leaves this ugly look. So you really have to be careful and don't expect them to come out perfect if you have this on the top. Well, look at this. It should come out pretty clean, but, but this one's not that bad. It's borderline. You can see down here at the bottom where the sun has not touched it. It's still got that shine to it, baked by the sun up here. Always choose a nice day to do this. It's about 80 degrees outside. So we gotta make this gray door panel match this black interior. Okay, so all you need, scratch-free bleach comet. This is all you need, nothing else. That's all you need right here. Nylon bristle brushes. This is to get in a little hard to reach places. You're gonna need a piece of scotch bright, preferably a used old piece. You're gonna wash these two times, front and back, as thorough as possible. So we got this little place in here we need to clean. That's why we got the toothbrush to get back in there, clean everything. Only thing we use the scotch bright for is to clean the screw holes out that we're in contact with metal and they have rust. The other point of the scotch bright is if you have this broken down plastic like this, you want to try to scrub away as much of this as you can. So little circle motions we're going to spend about five minutes sanding this you can see there's a bunch of soap has a little bit of grit in it and just kind of polish this the best you can so we're going to thoroughly wash behind the door panel as well all this dirt needs to come off so you want to wash the back real good because you want to test the color and kind of get a practice of spraying this stuff if you've never sprayed it before so when we use a scotch bride and try to polish that baked plastic we took a lot of it away and it looks a lot better now. You see how we cleaned the rust out of the screw holes right there? We still have some dirt inside that bucket. We need to get all that dirt 100% removed. Inspect the places you missed. We got some little rust in that screw hole. We're gonna wash these thoroughly one more time with bleach soap. We're gonna go set them on that piece of plywood out there and let this thing dry 100%. They're sitting out there in the sun drying. Now the trick is to plan everything out to where as soon as that thing dries we're going to spray it with paint we don't need to wipe it down with anything it's just being clean with bleach soap the surface is prepared so the panels finished drying it's a beautiful sunny day but you do not want to paint this out in the sun so that's one of the mistakes that people make as they spray out in the sun now if you touch this panel from the back it's probably about 95 degrees that paint we're about to use dries super fast and the last thing you want to do is paint a hot panel so we're going to let this thing cool down it's about 70 degrees in this room. So the only problem with this panel is it's got this little bucket area. If you can see, it's another piece of plastic. The problem with spraying this in here is that we could possibly get a weird spray pattern or we're gonna get those little dots all sprayed in the bottom. So I am going to mask that piece off. It's a way better idea than trying to get in there and spray it. If we could take that piece off, that would be the best option but you can screw things up whenever you start trying to spray inside weird areas like that. It's nearly impossible to get good coverage inside that panel. So let's just mask it off. Spray this, you wanna be able to walk around it and you wanna have something where you can prop this up. So now we're ready to spray. We study our door panel and we look for anything that we may need to pay attention to. So in other words, we have these little edges in there that's real easy to miss and you go back and you try to spray and then you end up screwing it up. We got these little areas right here. You gotta be very careful even in around here. So we sprayed flat and gloss, and you can barely see the difference. The flat and the gloss, the gloss just looks like it has armor all on it. So that's something to think about. 
some parts you might want to do this on this jeep and most late model cars we're going to go with the flat black start shaking your can up these things like to spurt and squirt you can see what they do this one i was actually spraying with it and it just started spraying straight out the top so this may go completely wrong and i got to get another can but i'm telling you be very careful if it starts spraying all crazy stop clean this off just be careful let this paint warm up and shake it up for about five minutes so you got to understand how to spray to do a good job practice on the other side keep it you know six to eight inches a consistent distance and you do not stop whenever you spray you go to the end go to the end whip it whatever you do not ever stop in the middle like that you can get a dry spot it can just look like crap so we watched this about an hour ago with bleach soap we don't have to wipe this down with any alcohol or grease remover. That's only if you had prepped it and stored it for a while and maybe touched it, then you wipe it down. We do not need to prep this. But like I said, if you touched it or waited the day before spraying, you gotta wipe it down with, al with the alcohol or wax and grease remover. Sometimes this absorbs into the material like vinyl and some rubbers and sometimes it just paints a flexible coating so the tack coat is not always necessary i have never sprayed a tack coat with this in my life but if you've been watching videos and reading stuff and you feel like you need to you do that but you watch how i spray this pay attention so you get the same results i do so it's very difficult to get in here so what we're going to do is we're going to go to the back and then we're going to spray it like that just a little bit That's all we're doing. So we're gonna go in and spray the edges. Remember, do not ever stop. If you gotta stop, come off the thing. Do not stop right there ever and move back. Okay, see? See why we need to prop it up to get that edge. We're spraying it kind of thick right there because remember it was baked by the sun. So we need a lot of paint on there. So tricky area, you just kind of want to hit it from all directions. That's what we don't want right there. Starting to sputter. starting to sputter just chill out see that right there is your enemy just chill out slow down we need to clean the tip off so it's starting to sputter just slow down and let it kind of absorb itself in don't just start putting more paint on there And just keep going back and forth like that until you get the right color. See, we're not, we're too thinned out right there. This stuff will get you high, dude. Be careful. I got to get out of this room. Okay, so that little sputter is very important. It is my fault. You see this right here? I was spraying with this yesterday, and it started shooting paint out of the top, and I pulled this off, and it was squirting paint about three inches in the air. I should have returned a can, but I just cleaned this off and put it back and sprayed it. You saw what happened. It spurted right here. It's got two little dots right there. We'll look at them if, if they don't dry up. But other than that, you see how we colored it? Let's let this thing dry out in the sun. So the door panels are done. They came out real good. But remember, they were screwed up at the top from where the sun had been baking them. And you see what that looks like. I wanted to really show you what happens whenever that sun screws them up, but we kind of had to scotch bright that down. That's why it doesn't really have the texture. But the point is, from two feet away, they look perfect. So this one had the same thing. I think this one was worse. 
But either way, you kind of got to hunt to look for it. So I put some armor all on it to see if it would kind of cover up that sun damaged top. It looks a lot better. They definitely pass a test, but if you repair some that are old like that and they bother you that much, just wait till you find some better ones. At least they're the same color. Pretty good match, I think. You can sit there and find flaws with anything. To me, they're about a 7 out of 10. Totally pass a the test. They're going to look good in a Jeep. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.